welcome back to We Talk Cricket. What an amazing test match we just saw between Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, where Sri Lanka owned the day, they owned the game. Oh, if this is what we gotta expect from the next test match, oh, fireworks gonna happen, all right? Without further ado, let's jump into it. We were planning to do a day one to three review as we normally do for test matches, but seeing as Bangladesh was in such a uh, tough position at the end of day three. We decided to wait. Good thing we did because the match is over today. Basically, done So let's jump into it. We actually like a batter first and their first innings make it 280 all out after being 57 for five. I know. Everybody's like, wait, wait, what, what? If you haven't seen the highlights, I recommend going back and watch it. This wicket definitely was a seamer friendly wicket in my opinion. Got movement, got bounce, like everything was there for the seamers. Batted for Sri Lanka. We did have Kamindu Mendes making his maiden test century, making 102 as he and skipper Dananjaya De Silva, finally getting some form, my, my brother, just saying, making 102 himself, propelled Sri Lanka to that total of 280 after being 57 for 5. Just amazing batting. They, they stepped up, took it to the Bangladeshi bowlers, made them, made them uncomfortable. Didn't help that Mendes was actually dropped first ball, by the way, just so you know. Didn't help with that, but worked out for the Sri Lanka team nevertheless. Bowling for Bangladesh, we did have Khalid Ahmed and Nahid Rana, who's on debut, by the way, picking up three wickets each as they try to their best to help their team restrict Sri Lanka, which they did eventually, all right? Really, really good. Now, <sighs> Bangladesh comes out the bat. This is still day one, by the way, and we're already in trouble. Eventually making 188 all out in their first innings with Tigel Ishmael leading the way with 41 and receiving support from Linton Das who was demoted down to I think number 5 or 6 who made 25 as Bangladesh never really looked set to make a total pass 200. Honestly never looked set. Bowling for Sri Lanka, we did have Fishbo Fernando picking up 4 for 48 and receiving some good support from Lahuru Kumara picking up 3 for 31. Now before we jump into the second innings, let's talk some pros and cons for the first innings. Battle wise for Sri Lanka, oh, their top order just whittled away. Like, like I said, the wicket was doing a lot and they were not able to get in control against that new ball as they were in trouble early and never looked really set. None of their top order batters looked set to really push on and do anything. It took their middle order stepping up to the fact to, to really get them going, which was good because by then the ball is a little bit older, not doing as much, so really worked out. But just a little something to work on is get used to the new ball swinging, get used to the pitch doing things. Hey, especially if it's green and you're batting for us, you, you gotta expect this, okay? I know with batting on wickets like that is never easy. Trust me, it's not. But it's just something you can work on. We all can work on it, right? Now, bowling-wise, you did really exceptional in utilizing the pitcher's conditions to act to your advantage. And really, it's just a big pro for you. You held your catches as well in the field. So really well done for the first innings. Bangladesh now, you did drop a couple chances or miss a couple chances. Remember the slogan, catches win matches, okay? Catches with matches. Bowling wise, I definitely thought you did well in the first half with the new ball, but you let it slip through your finger as soon as the Sri Lanka batter started attacking, and it took you a long time before you were able to actually get that energy back to say, hey, we need these wickets. So just some things to work on. Bottom wise, uh, Tigel is an all rounder, mostly spin first bowler, and to have him being the, the number one batter in this first is to step up was really sad. So, just some work to do. You yourselves got to work on facing the new ball, the swinging deliveries, and just getting used to it. Now, back to where we were. We left off. Sri Lanka comes out back in the second innings, making 418 all out. Now, if you thought, like, first it is, they learn something. Not really. <laughs> they tried, but the top order were still in trouble. Still in trouble. And it took another century from Kamindu Mendes, who made 164, and again, Dananjaya Da Silva, who made 108, to propel them to that score of 418. Set in Bangladesh an impossible 511th to win. Woo! But really, really middle order pros right there. Your middle order stepped up. Yes, some battles got to start for you this time around Sri Lanka, but 
they got to learn to carry on the same way Mendes and the Silva did, okay? Just really solid. And it's the partnership between those two, again, is what really got you to this total and got you to this victory, honestly. Your bowlers helped, too. I won't lie. Your bowlers did help as well. They utilized the pitch really, really well. But bowling four, Bangladesh in this second is we did have Mahidi Maras picking up four for four, 74, sorry. And Tigel coming back to pick up two for 75 as Bangladesh turned to their spinners versus their seamers this time around to get the job done. Now, interestingly enough, when Bangladesh came out to bat in their second is chasing 511 and after being basically 4 7 for 5 and the other day 3, they were scheduled out for 182 all out with only Mamano Hack making 87 out of showing any fight or resistance at all to the Sri Lankan bowlers. He did got, get some good support from Mahidi Maraz who came back to bat and make 33. But besides that, the game, the test match was set and done. Kashun Rajita picked up 5 for 56 bowling for Sri Lanka and received some good support from Vishwa Fernando who picked up 3 for 36. So basically, we saw like a continuing, continuing dominance from pros for, and cons for Sri Lanka coming into this second innings versus a flip for Bangladesh who didn't decide to rely upon their seamers who probably were getting taken to the park by uh, Mendes and the Silva but they decided to turn to their spinners to just stem the flow of runs. It, it, it was an interesting change honestly. I mean, in my opinion I felt like they could have just kept at it just a little bit more. Success sometimes comes if you try a little bit hard, but they were trying to be unpredictable They were able to get the wickets, but they weren't able to stem the flow of runs. That's the difference getting the wickets is great stemming the flow of runs Is also crucial, but nevertheless a whopping 300 plus run victory for Sri Lanka to take this first test home Anyway, let us know in the comments below. How do you think Sri Lanka's performance was this test? What could they have done better? What? Did they do better? And also, what can Bangladesh do to bounce back? Because this is only a two-test match series, okay? Let us know in the comments below because you all, you know we always answer every single time. And you know we're always going to have to talk about it. We're us, everyone. But right here on We Talk Cricket. And I'll catch you next time, my peeps, so we can talk some more. Later.